I'm ready to receive this call. Yeah. Oh, can you pass me a uh, chopstick? Three, you want to bring us in? Two, one. What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Fu One Six. six. We're outside of the six, and yes. today we're Saga. in Mississauga. We're, uh, you guys know that we we we, we came here a couple times uh, back in the day. We came to Fa Brothers. We, what else did we do in Mississauga? Oh yeah, Fa Fa de Thie. That was kind of a regrettable uh, situation that time. <laughs> yeah. Um, but today we are at Fa Queen City. Um, I've actually been here once before, but it was a very long time ago. Um, so, I, rem I remember it definitely as a good bowl, but let's get right into it and see how it is. Alright, I'm just gonna slide this maybe out of the, I don't know if it's in the frame. Alright, let's get into this. I've heard a lot of hype about this place. Really nice bro. Oof. Hint of sweet, but it comes back with the salty. <laughs> yeah, you can tell right away that's a good broth. Holy fam. Jeez. <laughs> we got the basil farmers out of season, but still providing some nice basil. Always. Yeah, Marcello, you've been telling me that um, you've been craving pho on, like a, on a whole, whole nother level than, uh, than usual, right? Oh, yeah. And you went back to Pico Lime. Love that place. Pico Lime, great bowl of pho. Great bowl of pho. <laughs> Wait, um, oh no, we got. Foxtail pho. Wow. I'm Maddie Matheson. Fuck you. That's a really nice lime in there. Just a so I don't disturb the video. Look at that hole. <laughs> Toronto Fruit Reviews, Bolton's Bites, we don't mess around. We're here to give it honest. So it's a, su it's a Sunday today. And normally um, we don't. We don't normally get together on Sundays when we do these. It's usually like Monday to Friday, typically. So I was kind of surprised when uh, Marcello here was available on, on a Sunday. Um, yeah, brother. Nice, cold, rainy day in the six. Perfect day for pho. Uh, This is gonna be this is gonna be an interesting one because beef so far this is a really nice bowl of uh see that reach it's so important this is saga is holding it down for the good fun uh, yeah no seriously um of course there's also some some examples of some not so great pho in the saga, and we've definitely experienced that as well. <coughs> pho de thie. <laughs> but uh, but then we like you know if you look at just some of the ones that we've done so far, Pho Brothers. I mean, probably one of the best, you know. Well, for me, yeah, Pho Brothers was top or top three easily, amazing. like top three or four in the GTA so far, I would say. Well, for me, here's the thing. It's like, there's two types of bowls of pho for me. There's one type where it's like, I'm heavy on the noodles and the meat and I'm just leaving the broth alone because it's not the best. But this one, 
it's a different type of fuss, so it's like, I'm constantly just eating this broth. Like, in other videos, you see me going into the noodles more, but like, this broth is so fucking good. I just keep going back. Wow. Hey, you know the thing about uh, swearing now in the videos is, and I'm not saying that we should stop, <laughs> but um, now with YouTube, I don't know if you know this yet, but you now have to announce whether your video is for kids or for adults. Like every time I post a video now, it asks me, is this video for kids or adults? Did you know this? Well, uh, why the fuck would they do that? <laughs> this is why true. the fuck would they do that? Sorry, kids. <laughs> yeah, um, I think we're just unfortunately going to have to opt to not be content for kids. <laughs> or, if their parents are fucking cool and not lame, <laughs> they'll let them watch them. <laughs> I don't know, YouTube. It depends on the kid, you know? Are the parents cool or what? <laughs> I think I've been just checking... Um, Oh, not, for, not for kids on every single one. The viewers are gonna be like, why? Going, I, going forward anyway. The viewers are gonna ask why I licked my arm. Because hot sauce got on my arm. So. Okay. Good disclaimer. Really nice noodles, too. The veggies actually seem to be super fresh. <clears throat> Could you pass me just the chili? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Chili farmers. So I worked out yesterday. Um, for those who don't know, I don't usually hit the gym, but um, I did yesterday. I already had the membership. I just haven't been been going. <laughs> and uh, but I went yesterday and it felt amazing. So I definitely want to continue it. And honestly, when you eat as much as we do, you need to do something. It's pretty essential. So yeah, I'm planning on continuing that. Four times a week, let's do it. <laughs> Maybe at least three. Did you guys follow the Bolton's Fitness account? Honestly, I'm like thinking about maybe kind of like documenting where I am now and seeing seeing where I can get to. I actually told my mom and my sister, I'm like, if I could lose like, <laughs> it's gonna sound funny, but if I could lose like 40 pounds, that's kind of what my goal would be. Yeah, 40 pounds. Because that's probably what I put on since starting this food vlog. Let us know your uh, New Year's resolutions uh, in the comment section below. Mm. We'd love to hear your good call, good your call. Uh, your journey and your goals. And, you know. Yeah, whether it be financial or or, your, or maybe uh, in regard to your love life, uh, fitness. The New Year, I vow to never have a bad bowl of uh, ever, ever. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Uh, we got to go everywhere, not just the good places. <laughs> this is one of those bowls. I don't like putting anything in this broth. Yeah, I was actually literally going to say the same thing. It is one of those where I am holding off. I do like putting spicy. anything in because it literally is that good. It's a big bowl of pho too. I don't know if you'll be able to really take this in at all, but uh, big bowl. It's like one of those never ending bowls. But it's so good that I will finish it. I don't know about you. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing the same Finally thing. putting the chili in. We're gonna do that same thing. <laughs> Mr. Bites, uh, did you pass me the uh, chili? Thank you.
nah, that feeling when that broth changes color because you just dump the chili oil. I've noticed uh, lately if if they have a like a saute sauce, which you've probably seen it around and all this, but just in case you don't know, it's usually that darker, like almost a dark, dark brown saute sauce. If they have that, I will put that sometimes over the chili sauce and it's just amazing. It's like a, um, it has a little more like depth and it's a little bit more spicier than regular chili uh, sauce. I actually noticed that in the sauce, they put oysin. In like a regular pho? No, in this. Oh, in that. You can actually see it. Okay. It's a little darker. Okay. You can smell it too. God damn. You about there with your score? Mm. Really good bowl. Well, let's try some of the, the brisket. Super thinly cut beef. Perfect taste of the beef. Really nice broth. I knew that from the first sip. Delectable. What score did I? I know what you gave Fub Brothers. What did I give Fub Brothers? Eight nine. I think I did eight nine. Yeah, is that what you did? I know my score here. Five I gave an eight seven, right? You yeah. gave an eight, uh, four brothers an eight seven. Yeah, I. I'm ready. I think we gave like pico. I gave pico lime like an eight four or eight five. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm ready for my review if you are. Yeah, yeah, I think I am. We'll do a three, three, two, one. Yep. Three, two, one, eight point five. I tied this. <laughs> Let me go into my score. I actually tied Fud Brothers because this was equally as good, equally as delicious, and I just couldn't justify giving it a lower score, to be honest. Really, really, really great bowl of pho. Yeah, for me, it was either going to be an 8.5 or an 8.6. I don't know exactly what I gave um, Pico Lime, Fadabao, uh, Fa Brothers, Fadathi is in a different territory altogether, much lower. <laughs> um, but it's, it's in that kind of like low to mid eights so that's why i feel like yeah eight five is is perfect for this place this is the kind of place like you would go out of the way you, you'd go out of the way for this this bowl of pho 100 percent. i could not find one complaint and it and it yeah you're right to give it almost like the same score as um Fa Brothers because it would kind of be a toss up. I'd probably still put Fa Brothers just that little bit ahead. Um, I don't know if you feel the same way, but. Or is it just a dead tie? I think, well, yeah. Fa Brothers would probably be slightly, slightly better, but it's a toss up, right? That's why, like, with an 8.5, it's like you can be tied, but 8.9, you can. Sorry, you can be tied, but, you know. You could have a preference, right? This bowl of pho to me is like, this is an example of 
a restaurant that knows what they're doing. Oh yeah. With the fuck. Like, kind of a classic bowl, you know? The broth has that, it has that salt content, but as you said, it does have a little bit of that kind of like that sweetness, that like sort of, you know, tanginess, that kind of like uh, almost like licorice type taste that you get with the star anise in that. It has that. Perfect beef, perfect noodles. Not Noodles aren't like overcooked or anything like that. So, 8.5, 8.9. That's the review. Join us next time on Fall 1-6. Happy New Year, guys. I feel very confident in this tour.